Monday morning riding to Mount Gravatt to do the hill climb. As far as I can tell, we all start off at the same time. So it's a bit of a race up the hill. A little bit nervous because I know this hill hurts every time. Let's see how we go. about now legs feel okay not not amazing but they felt worse than this before last time I did a PB uh, I was pretty cooked so should be okay From the start, I knew I had to go as hard as I possibly could up this first bit because that is super tough. Um, I knew that I had to drop as many people as I could. Since it was like a race up the top, I knew I had to drop all those girls from the start so that I could relax, just get into the tempo of it and push the numbers that I knew I could push and that I've pushed in the past. So there's about three or four girls that tried to stay with me um, and one of them stayed with me until about the one kilometre mark. Uh, so there's probably about three or four girls just behind me at the moment, but they start to drop off at about this point because I'm still ramping up the watts and settling into a rhythm. Um, I can hear them changing gears behind me and they're struggling to keep that tempo and keep the pace and, and push the watts. As we're getting past this 500 metre mark, um, we're going through the S's of the, of the hill. This is probably the steepest part of the hill, um, apart from the end bit, but this bit is where it really starts to hurt before it flattens out, um, and I can hear the girl behind me. She's currently in first place on GC, and I needed to win this. Um, so I can hear her behind me. She's trying to come on the inside of me, and I was just like, well, that's my line. I'm gonna take that. So I took that inside line. Uh, I can hear her changing gears, trying to figure out the mountain that um, you know that I'm pretty used to. I know that I know the mountain. I know the hill. I need to. I know I need to push the watts to get up this bit. Really, just need to um, push through this hard bit. And I think that she wasn't ready for this bit. So I stand up and I accelerate a little bit, and I can hear her behind me trying to chase. As we go past the one kilometre mark, it's it's quite flat. Um, and so I know it says 7% on the grade, it's stuffing up. But this is quite a flat bit. And as we, this is sort of downhill and round a corner, I ramp it up and I'm like, yep, I need to push here to get rid of her, to dispatch her at the back. And I do. I look back and she was gone, just dropping off. She had cooked herself on the, on the, on the first steep part. And I was pretty clear to, um, much take the wind from here with, with a, about 700 meters to go so yeah it was a pretty successful ride for me and uh, I was pretty happy with how I went just finished the hill climb up in that gravat and um, came out with the wind how did you go so is assembling at the preservation area now really but if you can just be I'm mindful good. I got up of uh, your so standing so got for under no, 30 the time is Luke too Ricker, um, Jonathan Munro too heat. and Sam oh, oh, Aris got me she picked me on the time oh the girls, damn we had Aspen but you got third in your heat yeah third in my heat those girls are riding really well under 15 men of course we've got four places Tyler Tompkins I've got Leah's jumper on so I look like a bit of a bogan but it's fine it's fine cruising to Mars with Saran we're just cruising there. Super early. We're gonna get some food and just chill. <sighs> Saran ended up coming fourth up the hill. Just about third, third on GC. Yeah. Just headed to a coffee shop now to get some food. Gonna have some sort of dirty bacon and egg burger, hopefully. And some juice. Juice. But yeah, successful morning. Pretty happy with that. That's pretty much all I wanted. So, yeah. What's rolling? We just through? rolled up at Mars. Uh, Mum's here. And uh, a bit of a and, bike um, throw there between. We Walker just got one more race left. And, race. Uh, and Sherlock. We'll have to wait and back see on the big camera now. Uh, Mars is behind me. There's people everywhere. 
and uh, uh, nice little bike throw one there more 30 the minute race and then we're done the, uh, and then we can just chill the out junior development and then I think I'm going to come like second on GC a but clubs run, particularly who knows, here at who knows. On a Saturday morning, at the moment I'm second on uh, GC so all of our juniors out on we'll the grass, see what happens learning the skills this guy talking behind me is really handling. starting to annoy me but yeah and so in Alright, this is the last lap of the crit. I thought I'd show you this because it made me laugh when it happened. So I'm sitting here and to my left I have three girls. The girl in the orange and the blue are going to contest the sprint. Everyone's going to contest the sprint, but these are the ones I've got my eye on. And then to my right I've got the lady in pink and the lady in green and they are both super strong sprinters. But the other two, they're in contention for GC. So the girl in the orange is in the lead, the girl in the blue is behind me. So I need to beat the girl in blue, really, to stay second in GC. There's no chance of overtaking the first. So at this point, the lady in pink and the lady in green pull ahead. And I go, I don't want to be behind either of them. I don't want either of these ladies behind me. And so I sit up. Anyway, so this girl has to ride through. Well, she doesn't have to, but she did. And that... Ultimately, I think, was the move that lost her the race because she's got me behind her. She's leading me out at the end of the day. So I'm like, sweet, I'm going to sit here. The other girl in the blue is sitting behind me, I believe, at this point. So the lady in pink swings off and I'm still holding this wheel. I'm like, nobody's taking this wheel from me. I don't, I don't want to lose this wheel. This is the one I want to lead me towards the finish line. The lady in pink, spoiler alert, actually ends up coming in third, which was awesome because Selena is a super nice lady. Um, but yeah, at this point, the lady in green, I don't know, she's from the same club as the girl in front of me, so I thought, oh, maybe they're working together. But whatever, doesn't affect what I want to do. So I'm sitting beside, um, behind this girl, and as you can see to the right, a wheel appears. And I'm going, what the hell are you doing? She's trying to steal my wheel. And I'm like, man, this is a bit dangerous. I don't want to be in this position. I don't want the win that much. So I'm like, I'm just going to keep trying to stick to this wheel, control of my bike. As we're coming around this corner, she sort of pulls out a little bit wider and I'm like, yep, my wheel, I'm staying here. And then she cuts up down the side. And I'm like, heck, what is going on? I'm getting crushed between these two in the middle. I'm getting super close to this wheel in front of me and I'm like, well, this is a super sketchy position to be in, but I'm just going to hold it. I, my bike handling skills are on point. So as she's getting let, let out, I pop out, pop out behind this lady in green and just go for the sprint. We're side by side at the moment and I end up pipping her at the line and that was pretty much it. But yeah, super hectic last lap. Done. Came first. Pretty happy. That's yeah. Excellent. You did well. We're done now. We've done all the presentations and stuff, so we're just gonna roll home. I don't know if there's any races. I probably shouldn't vlog while I'm crossing the street. Oh, so a um. Oh, this is a bit awkward. There's a guy. Hang on. One moment. It's a bit awkward. That guy out there. Anyway. So yeah, there's a guy out there. Leaning against his car. No idea what he's doing. Anyway, moving on. So, to sum up the uh, weekend of racing. Pretty happy with my results. Wasn't so happy with the uh, result in the road race. Probably could have gone better. Live and learn from your mistake. So that was actually my first road race ever. You know, good learning experience, good to do before I do anything else. It was it was actually pretty hard since it was like a, it was like almost a thousand meters of elevation in 50 kilometers. So that's a fair bit 
um, considering I normally do 80k rides with maybe 1200 meters of elevation. So I'm pretty used to doing the elevation, it's just that it was just a bit tedious with all the laps. The hill climb this morning was super successful. I beat my PB by about three seconds, so my time was 6.25 and my last PB was 6.28. Super happy with that. And then the crit, I wasn't too bothered, but I sort of just wanted to try my hardest and I, and I obviously sat the right wheel at the end of the day and super happy with um, how I played that race. Um, I don't think I touched the front. If I did, I think it was only for half a, half a lap, if anything and I wasn't really doing anything. There was a bit of confusion with the lap boards. We thought we had two laps to go, and it was actually for the D graders that are also on the course, but but yeah, when we did get two laps to go, I was on the front, and I was like, oh, I don't wanna be here, and just cruised off. Just let them sit on the front and try, try to pull their turns and try to and try to make attacks, but none of their attacks stuck, so it was good. Ended up with the win just because I was fresh, I think. But anyway, yeah, super successful weekend. I'm super happy with it. Now I move up to A grade. Um, got a time trial next weekend, and then the weekend after that is just chilling, having fun. Last training weekend, and then I have surgery. So I've only got two more weekends before I have surgery. Let me know if you liked this video in the description, in, in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Give me a big thumbs up if you're happy with how I went. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next vlog.